All right, so as a matter of understanding dimensions, right, we get, we get dimensions in, like, numbers, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, forever. You know, so infinitely, they would go forwards and backwards forever. So really, one, two, three, that's something we came up with to measure it, right? So really, probably go backwards forever and forwards forever. So anyway, relative to where we are now, it's three dimensions we know, right? So what the heck does that mean? Who cares? Well, think about what we know about three dimensions, which is essentially, so standing here, you know, on the Earth, you've got a map. Up, we agree, is north. So now we can say up, and it means north. You know, we have up now, we understand up. Down, we know down. That's the same axis. Uh, left and right, that's east-west. You know what I mean? Uh, but us looking at it is what makes that three dimensions. We're actually looking at two dimension representation of understanding what we're standing on, which is three-dimensional. Right? So imagine what the Earth knows about itself. Right? So you, without anything else around, let's say and you're in space, or uh, simpler than that, uh, if you're on uh, an airplane or a boat, right? Now, you, now because you don't have land, you're in the middle of the ocean. Relative to where you are, what does that mean? If you say left and you're looking towards the back diagonal of the boat, and you say left, turn left. What the hell are they going to do? So you want to say, turn starboard, right? That means either whatever they agreed that starboard or port means, you know, whichever one means facing the front of the boat. Rel so relative to where we believe the front of the boat is, left is left, right is right. And also, additionally, we call the front of the boat whatever the name of the front of the boat is, whatever the name of the back, because I'm not a freaking sailor. Or aft, port, starboard. Right. So, in that same concept, now we've taken land away, and suddenly we can't, we can't measure according to that. We have to now measure according to the boat. So now the boat is, you know, direction. The boat is now three dimensions. We still are not measuring three dimensions. Now take everything away. Now you're in space. It's just you. So how many directions are there? We've decided our head is up. Our feet are down. Our arm is the left arm. Our right arm is the right arm. But really, they're spherical and they're cylindrical. They, they go out from all directions, you know? You know, so if, if you say to the left of the underside of my arm, what the heck does that mean? So from all directions of all of you, there are all these, like, measurable directions. So if there's nothing else to measure it to, where would that even, why, why would that matter? You know, you are just a sphere of energy, essentially. So then once you understand, you know, expanding to this sphere, um, you can now either name all your directions or at least understand them to the best of your ability. You know, we're not all geniuses, so likely it would take some either time or a lot of speculation or thought like we're kind of sort of doing now. Uh, now, let's say, pretend uh, we've now mastered this idea of understanding direction within the self relative to only us as this sphere, this outwardness of only measuring to us, not measuring to a boat, not measuring to the earth, not measuring to a map, Nothing. Just us. Anything else, though, that isn't one, two, or three dimensions that comes within, that seems foreign, that doesn't apply to this structure that we've now fully understood, is that other dimensional, like, direction, that other thing, right? So now we're relative to that, because you're constantly relative and parallel to all these other dimensions. Uh... So anything that would come near you that maybe is a third, fourth dimensional thing or fifth dimensional, but let's just simplify and just say fourth dimensional, because God knows what the, what the heck, you know, we think time for fourth dimension, what does that mean? Uh, third dimension is uh, X, Y axis, right? And then there's like a depth. That's what makes it third instead of two. Because two is just like flat, right? It's just the forward back, uh, uh, I guess, side to side, right? Uh, right. So in third dimension, you can you can go, you can jump. There's a depth now. So let's uh, let's pretend time is a name for this extra appendage of uh, fourth dimension. Uh, well, whether or not we're gonna get what that means, or like it's not gonna freak us out. Now we see that's not us. That's not anything we understand. We can now at least see it. We can perceive it. We can like feel it. You know. So I just I think that really gives us an understanding of how we would begin to see what's next, you know, what's really out there on a, on a geometrically quantum like mindfuckish kind of 
scale. So, I don't know, fun thought. Ugh.